FHA loans just got a whole lot cheaper. If you're in the market to buy a house or you're considering getting a mortgage, you've likely looked at an FHA loan or, th or thought about using an FHA loan. FHA loans are especially helpful for middle to low income families, folks who have lower than normal credit scores because they're more flexible, or for people that just need to have a more flexible loan program to purchase a home. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how they just got cheaper, so stay tuned. What's up guys, it's Channing, and like I said, in today's video, we're talking about how FHA loans just got cheaper. Please, before I jump in, remember, like this video, subscribe to the channel, so more people, just like you, can watch our content, and so you never miss another video. So without any further ado, we're gonna jump right in, we're gonna talk about how FHA loans just got cheaper. On February, I think, let's see, 22nd, on February 22nd, the White House came out with an announcement that says that HUD is going to be lowering the FHA Mortgage Insurance Premium, or MIP for short. Now, MIP is just FHA's version of PMI. We've all heard about PMI. There's videos on my channels. PMI gets a bad rap, but PMI makes it possible for home buyers to own homes if they can't put 20% down, which, spoiler alert, is most of you. So, with that being said, they come out with the announcement and it says that they're going to be lowering the MIP on FHA loans. Now, what is the MIP? Again, it's mortgage insurance. It's, it's the mortgage insurance premium that FHA charges. And currently, it is 0.85%, or previously I should say, it is 0.85% of the loan amount. And what they've done is they've come in and they've said, hey, we're gonna drop this down to 0.55 or 0.55% of the loan amount. So it's a 30 basis point reduction, which is a big deal. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, but that could be the difference of going down in rate tremendously, something that would cost you a lot more money. And so what this move does is it makes FHA loan cheap, FHA loans cheaper. It helps to combat the rising interest rates and it helps to combat some of the announcements that were just made on conventional loans. So if you don't know this, earlier this year, conventional loans have increased what's called a loan level pricing adjustment, which is a fancy word for they're gonna charge you more. They added, I think it's 37.5 basis points to conventional loans for borrowers with debt to income ratios over 40%. Now, that's a lot of borrowers. That's almost most borrowers, I would venture to say, at least the ones we see. And what that means is that not only are rates higher on conventional, but be, now they're going to be even higher unless you are a low income or first time home buyer. So if you're buying a house, most people buying their second, third, fourth house are using conventional loans. They are more expensive. And so FHA kind of comes in and says, OK, we're going to drop it. Now they're going to be more in line with USDA rule development, which is 0.35. So they're kind of right there in the middle. The Biden administration, through their press release, stated that they think, let's read it here, that it's going to impact 850,000 families and it's going to bring about an average savings of $800 a year. But let's do the math on that. We did the math. I'm just going to tell you really quickly. Let's say you're buying a $200,000 home. Well, if you're buying a $200,000 home, on average, what this means is that your note just got about $50 cheaper. Your note just got about $50 cheaper. Now, that may not sound like a lot. But a lot of times that would be the difference in a half percent in your interest rate, which would cost thousands of dollars in this environment. So they did get cheaper. It is going to help borrowers. This could mean an extra ten, fifteen thousand dollars in purchasing power. It could mean a, a savings. There's a whole lot going on here. It also means that if rates come down later in the year, it's easier to do FHA streamlines because there's a built-in benefit now for anyone with an FHA loan. You don't have to go much further to get some benefit in refinancing. So FHA loans got cheaper. They've VA loans have gotten, they've made changes that are going to make them cheaper while conventional loans are getting more expensive. And we'll do separate videos on that. But I wanted to get this out here because I think it's important that you know that FHA loans, one of the most flexible loans on the planet, is now 
cheaper. So if you have any questions about that, there's a link in the description. There's a link in our about section on how you can reach out to us. I'd love it if you'd like the video, if you'd subscribe to the channel, not just for me, but for you. So you never miss another video. And of course, it's going to help people see our channel and reach more people just like you who have home buying questions. So I'm Channing and I'll talk to you soon.